What's up everybody? We are gonna do a First Light review. This is gonna be the second review we've done on First Light. Um, the last one, go check it out. Uh, we went through the stuff, the gear we had up to that point, but we have a lot more stuff. A lot more stuff. So stay tuned to this video. We're gonna go through kits we use for different hunts. Um, and the big thing we're gonna be hammering home in this video is which camo pattern works best for where you hunt. First things first, First Light has a bunch of different camo patterns and then also um, some solids. They've got ash, they've got black in some things, they've got dry earth, conifer, those are their solids, I believe. And they've got Spectre, their new whitetail pattern, Fusion, and Cypher. That's all of them. So they have a bunch of different offer, a uh, bunch of different camo patterns that they offer. Um, so something is bound to fit perfectly with where you hunt. Um, and that's gonna be a big part of this video. We just wanna, we get a lot of questions on which camel pattern should I get? Should I buy the new Spectre kit because I have like either Fusion or Cypher right now? Um, is that better for whitetail hunting? And we'll go through all that in this video. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start out with the base layers um, and then go up from there, get heavier. So I would say the number one thing that Thompson and I probably wear from First Light um, is this Arrowwool Wick Ultralight 150. And this fabric they use with a bunch of stuff, boxers, long sleeves, short sleeves. This is in their cypher pattern. And this, this is key for all of our hunts, whether it's um, like 95 degrees, um, this will be our outside layer. It's lightweight, very lightweight, very breathable. It does not sweat. This is obviously their merino wool that they, they have. Um, so all early season stuff to keep you from getting burnt, keep you uh, just out of the sun basically uh, and cool. Uh, so this is our go-to and of course they make them in short sleeves as well. This is their The same thing except with the hoodie um, And I love that this next week we head out um, To a sand hills mule deer hunt in western Nebraska and it gets hot. There's no shade So I'll bring one with the hoodie just to throw it up over my ears and my neck to protect me from the Sun and these are extremely breathable um, They never smell and they can be washed out very quickly. So these are those are the long sleeves they also make the same thing. This is their new game bag brief. It's that same 150, the Airwool Ultralight 150. This is the Ultralight 150 as well, the wick boxer. And then this is the short sleeve. Next layer up, these are the uh, Long John, and these are the, the Fuse 200, which is just a, the step up. Still a lightweight, but these are the, <clears throat> the Long Johns. And I find myself wearing these not on the super cold hunts, but um, kind of one, once, the, once the temps start to drop, throw these on, it's a game changer. Um, with the, the 150s, they offer a bunch of different options. They have like some zip up options as well. Um, so there are a lot more than just what I'm showing you. And of course they have all the camera patterns, all the different colors and stuff like that. The next step up that Thomas and I jumped to, this is the uh, Merino X Kiln Midweight 250. And this is just no hoodie on there and this is a very like thick layer you can it's it's very noticeable from when you go from a 150 to the 250 this this the first time i bring this out every season is probably going to be like an october white tail cold front when i just need one more layer um, it's not like i don't need a big heavy jacket or anything like that and i still want to not sweat going into the stand but when the temperatures kind of drop off this 250 is my go-to and my favorite, probably my favorite piece, the piece I wear more than anything, is this kiln. Midweight 250, it's a kiln hoodie. And this thing is, yeah, this is my, my favorite layer. And this is their Spectre pattern, the first time I'm showing that. Uh, I'm really excited about this pattern. But this is like, if I need to be warm, this, is, this needs to be in my, in my kit. Because throw this hoodie up, it's just thick enough that it just keeps your body heat in so well. A lot of the times, like an October cold front kit that I wear a ton is I'm gonna be wearing um, the Solitude kit, but instead of, if sometimes it's too um, warm for the, uh, the Solitude jacket. So what I'll do is I'll layer some of these long sleeves and then I'll top off with this kiln in my bibs and it's perfect for uh, mid-October, even later October cold fronts. All right, so to kind of finish up some of these base layers, uh, I've got a few glove options here. Thompson and I definitely don't wear gloves on every hunt, um, especially with the first light bibs. Um, they keep us plenty warm, but 
these gloves that we do have, these are the Talus Fingerless Gloves. We really love these gloves, especially for archery. These are super nice. This is a Catalyst Soft Shell Glove, also really nice. Uh, this is in the Fusion. And this is the Alpine Cold Weather Glove, um, which if you have cold weather, uh, I remember like hunting um, with Spencer Newharth on the 80 this last year in December. These were definitely a, definitely a part of the kit. So, um, And then a, a key, key item that Thompson and I have. Uh, these are the Wind River Balaclava uh, face mask. And this is in the Fusion. And this is in the Spectre. And I talked about it on the last review, but really my favorite thing about these is one, keep you so warm if it's cold, putting this over your hat, getting your ears covered, super nice, not like a big hoodie. And it's got these ear holes, which are huge for here in game whether it's a turkey gobbling or a buck coming through the, the leaves, super nice to have. And then these are the socks that Thomas and I mostly wear. Um, this is the lightweight, what? Uh, that's the mercury lightweight. This is the mercury lightweight sock, and this is drier. These are in kind of the black. And these, we wear these basically all the entire season, um, but definitely like an early season. Um, these are the piston compression socks. Again, I wear these throughout the entire length season but definitely wear early season stuff and this is the zero cold weather like thicker sock um, definitely a late season throw them in the boots kind of deal yeah so again these are merino so especially early season when things get hot in the boots these things start to reek you can uh, easily wash them out and they're like brand new sock now i'm going to go through our jackets going to run through these pretty fast uh, the main main jackets that thompson and i wear all right so this is the ridgeline jacket it's got a zipper on here, definitely more of a lightweight item. Um, staying lightweight, we've got the corrugate jacket. Same material as the corrugate pant. This is the Fusion Cypher pattern. Definitely uh, more of an early season thing. And of course they both have hoodies on them, full zippers. Maybe the next step up here, I've got the Klamath hoodie the zipper. This is in their ash color. This, is def this definitely becomes part of my white tail kit once I get late season. Um, this is the sawtooth jacket with a zipper. Um, really nice zippers on all of these first light jackets um, with the hoodie again. This is maybe the only jacket that we have a slight critique with. It does, we feel like it is a little snug for the size, so maybe size up on this one. And then one of my all time faves is this catalyst jacket. You've got zipper up the chest, another zipper up on the chest, two side zippers, and this is definitely one of my main jackets for whitetail. I wear this from October, November time frame. Keeps me warm through the rut with some base layers. These are the uh, Brooks down sweater. Again, um, Fusion Cypher. These, this definitely has become uh, one of Thomas and my, my favorite layers. Um, it just is that insulating layer, but it's not heavy. It's a very light jacket. I mean, you can pack this thing down tiny, um, yet this will keep you warm like with a few base layers, I would not be worried about going out into 30, 30 degree temps, 40 degree temps, with this being your main main jacket. I mean, it it keeps it super warm. Kind of a step up, getting thicker. This is the Uncapare puffy jacket. Um, this is one of Tom's more favorite jackets. They have a new updated 2.0 on, on their site. Um, and this is in that dry earth. Again, big factor with this is the packability of it. Um, but also extreme warmth. I mean, you could easily wear this below freezing temps for sure. Have it be your main puppy. The main pants that Thomas and I are going to wear. Um, I didn't. I don't have my Obsidian Merino pants right now, but I used to rock those quite a bit. Got some B-roll of that on a mule deer hunt, I think. These are definitely my main hitters. The the Corrugate pant, which is the same material as that Corrugate jacket, with the suspenders. Suspenders are definitely a good call. Um, big suspender guy. So I love the pockets on these. We've got, of course, the main normal pant pocket, but you also have pockets here with the zipper. And then the back pocket also has a zipper. And I'm all about zipper pockets. I just, I love zipper pockets. So these are definitely my main pant. I wear these early season, definitely my fave turkey hunting pant. They are extremely like flexible in the waist and just the material is just kind of like stretchy. It's just very comfortable pant. Next pant I'll probably mention, these are the sawbuck pant. This is kind of like their upland game pant. They've got this tougher surface up front. Um, and this is my land management pant. I wear this from January throughout 
through the whole summer. It's not like a very like super warm pant, but it has this like shield where it gives you that extra protection, especially when we're doing um, chainsaw work when we've got chaps on. I love wearing these on the outside. Just lets you tear through things. Um, and then of course, upland hunting. When Thomas and I head to South Dakota for roosters, this is definitely the pant we are wearing. Also, before they came out with the, the foundry pant, which I'm gonna talk about next, these were our spot and stock pant because they had this tough material up front um, that it was like our Western Nebraska, Western South Dakota mule deer antelope pant. I killed my antelope in these last year. These are new pant that I have actually not hunted in yet, but I'm taking them out. These are their new pants. These are the Corrigate Foundry pant, again, with suspenders, pockets similar, basically the same as the, the Corrigate pant. Um, but the big thing about these, two things, you've got zippers on the side that can open up, and then also the big hitter with these are the knee pads. Um, I am so stoked for these out in the Western states when I have to worry about cactus and rocks and stuff. Um, these knee pads are a game changer. I already have put them on a ton and just walked around game changer. So um, this is definitely gonna be my main stocking pant. Um, so in their products, they have DWR, basically water resistant coating. So that is also super nice that it, not going to get you soaked with any of their stuff. Um, next, I'm going to get into kind of some of their heavier uh, gear that they have for whitetails, the bibs, and uh, some solitude and sanctuary kit. So, kind of sticking with uh, the waterproofing before I get to the thick layers, this is uh, what Thomas and I use for our rain gear. This is the Seek Jacket, heavy duty. Um, it's got really awesome pockets, which on rain gear is kind of the make or break. These pockets are really heavy duty, not going to leak at all. Um, and it just feels really good. It's just like a very solid jacket. We've been in straight down ports with this stuff and you're dry. Um, great hood that kind of comes over your brim to keep your hat and head dry. And I think one thing to mention on these is it has this kind of compression on the sleeve so you don't have water running up basically your arm, which sucks bad. So you can tighten it down to your wrist. And then these are the boundary pant, also kind of a waterproof pant. They have the zipper up the side. Um, nothing like being soaked on a hunt. Definitely something good to keep in the bottom of your pack at all times. All right, now I'm gonna talk about kind of the, the cold weather gear that Tom and I wear, definitely for late season whitetail stuff. First thing is the Solitude bib pants. This is in the uh, Cypher. This is in the Spectre. And this, is in the fusion. Kind of see the differences. Um, so this first light kind of rolls this out as like your October um, whitetail hunting gear. And before Thomas and I had the heavier sanctuary bibs, we wore these through all of late season. Um, what we usually did was just add like a, a long john underneath and maybe a few layers more on top. But these these solitude bibs did did get us through late season. Um, these are their new ones. The Spectre, I'll kind of show you a little bit more. They've got, of course, this bib pocket here with the zipper, but also hand warming right here. And in their new jackets, which I'll show you next, they make pockets so that you can put your hands in here because a lot of jackets you can't get there through, so it's like, what's the point of this pocket if you don't, if you have a jacket over the top? Um, they've got zippers all the way up and down the side, right here, the leg. So with temperature change, whether you're walking into the stand um, and you wanna like have some breathability, you can zip this up or um, like on a turkey hunt, if it's like still like the March mornings with uh, Nebraska archery season is, it's still, you're still hunting, sometimes it's snow we can have these down in the morning stay really warm but then once that midday it gets hot and stuff we can zip these zip these up and be able to breathe a little more have a little cool off um, they've got pockets on the front of them right here and they also have zippers on both of those um, so yeah these there's a solitude bibs we we definitely love them um, it's it's perfect like october Say there's a cold front October 10th, and it's gonna be like 50s, 60s, like 60s during the day maybe, but tip tip down to like 
I don't know, upper 30s, low 40s, I will be wearing those with probably maybe a long sleeve or two and a kiln and I'll be perfect. The layer up is the Sanctuary 2.0. Um, this is just, this is heavy, like just feeling it. This is, this is like winter gear. This is cold weather gear. Same thing, they've got the zippers, of course. Um, they've got the front pockets. But this is truly, if you wanna be warm, the installation of these things is nuts. I mean, you, you'll be able to hunt late season in these things just wearing a normal box ready. So yeah, that's just, this, this is basically the same design as the Solitude, but just heavier, much heavier. And then to pair with those things, you've got the Solitude and Sanctuary jackets. I'll start with the Solitude jacket, which you can see right here. Um, if, if you've got a, a colder October day where it's gonna be like 40s and 50s during the day and then tip off, um, this is, I'll definitely, instead of like having a kiln on the outer, I'll wear this as an outer because still you're not getting into a super, super thick jacket. Um, it still is okay to like be a little warm in. Um, and yeah, this is, this is definitely like an October um, jacket for me. Um, this is the Spectre, of course. They've got, this is where I was talking to be able to get into your bibs. You can uh, open that up, which is super nice. Um, these pockets are, these, these new pockets are nice. Basically, they make them so they have like a little compression when you put your hand in there so it's not just big and airy. Like you basically have to squeeze your hand to get through here into the bigger pocket, which I find very appealing. Um, so yeah, this is this is the solitude. You will find me in this jacket mid to late October and probably through November, unless the temps plummet. And then finalize things. This is the Sanctuary 2.0 jacket. A lot of the same features as the solitude jacket. You've got the pocket to access the bib right here. Normal pockets are here, chest pocket. And then again, this is just a super heavy jacket. This is your late season go-to, December. I mean, temps are in the single digits. Deer are hitting the food sources hard. This is what I'm gonna wear to kill my late season buck. So this paired with um, the bibs, you are gonna stay toasty. I will mention we've got, we wear some hats, kind of forgot about that, but this is the first light beanie that I have. Um, if, it's, if it gets cold, this is going on the head. And then I also wear a bunch of kind of their ball caps. My favorite is the five panel tech cap. I think that's what it's called. Kill a lot of big bucks in that hat. All right, so now we kind of want to get in which camo pattern should you wear? This is the biggest question we get. Do I need to sell my kit that I already have because this new Whitetail Spectre came out? And the answer is, it's totally up to you. Spectre is their first light new Whitetail pattern. I think for sure, hands down, it is I think it's your best option for hunting whitetails, especially if you're hunting during like, I mean, if you hunt throughout the entire season, I think this, I don't think there's anything that covers you as good. You have the lighter colors, you have, you got greens in here, you got browns in here, you've got even like a little orange tint, a little red in there, which is perfect for the fall colors. Um, but it is totally up to your woods. Obviously, Fusion is has the most green. Cypher has the most like kind of more of the dry earthy tones you need to match up what your woods look like for most of the time while you're hunting. And I can tell you on the Kansas 80, Spectre will definitely work the best. But when things brown up and stuff, maybe I'll, I'll throw some of this cypher on because I mean, this looks like a lot of tree bark. This looks like a lot of leafless branches. Um, but if, you, if you're hunting like more evergreen country or just more thicker stuff that stays green, maybe more pine country, this, this fusion is probably gonna be your go-to. On, on Western hunts, we've we've worn both Fusion and Cypher, and we've killed animals in both. So it's not a big deal. I, I usually just wear the Cypher. I think this blends in the best. Western Nebraska, where things are dry, I don't think you could beat this pattern really, but we've even, like, we've killed elk in both of these things and the, and the thick Colorado mountains as well. So it's totally up to you. I would just take a look, close look at the pattern, which on first sight site, you can see it really well. And we'll also roll some B-roll in different hunting situations. But for us, we, we split these up during early season, hunting out west. Um, and then we will be hunting um, Whitetails Inspector. Kind of like the last video, we are we are gonna be doing a, a little giveaway here. Thomas and I will, will buy the winner a kiln hoodie um, Inspector. Um, that's what you want. We can buy one with a camera, camera pattern you want. But basically, to enter, comment 
which pattern you wear and in what part of the country you're in. We're really interested to see what people are, are picking, where they're at. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll pick a random comment and send you a kiln. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. We appreciate the support and um, good luck. Hope you enjoyed this review. First Light has treated us super well. It does not fail us ever. We've been wearing it for, for years and years and it takes care of us. So hope you like it.